weeks. We ask the question here about the verse in the Quran dealing with the subject and it says they meaning who? The Jews and uh, the Romans who were working alongside of them were saying that they had killed Jesus. That they had put him on the cross and Allah said make no mistake about it they did not kill him neither did they salib him. They didn't kill him neither was he on the cross. But they've been in derision about this ever since. They've been arguing about this, this question mark about it ever since. There's a number of points on this thing. First of all, it means for us as Muslims, don't get into the subject of how long was Jesus on the cross and could he have survived it, etc. But like somebody did this, wrote a book about it actually. But this is wrong because Quran just said he's not. it's not a point for you to discuss because he wasn't on the cross, period. That's it. Our Jesus... Isa, Ibn Maryam, son of Mary, escaped that. He didn't go there. In fact, God says, he pulled him up. He took him up. Allah took Jesus up and he's with Allah. Now the question comes, is he alive or dead? Who cares? Let's, let's look at a reality here. I'm focusing on a subject which doesn't change my life either way, right? But why don't I focus on some of my real problems here? I have bad habits I need to correct. I have some tawbah I need to make to Allah or repent for things that I've done. Why am I worrying about this subject, whether or not Jesus is alive or not alive, or state of occultation like the Mahdi for the, the Imam Mahdi for the Shiites or something? What are, you, what are you getting into that stuff for? You don't have anything to do? Huh? So, Allah said it. That's it. Okay? They didn't put him on a cross. He is not dead. We do know he's coming back in the last day. He will be alive. And we also know that after he comes back, he'll lead the believers from Christians, Jews, Muslims, whoever believes in him, will, he will lead them to a victory here on earth. And then eventually, all the believers will die and he will die along with them. And Allah said in the Quran, Kulu nafsin Every single soul shall taste death. And only Allah is al Hai. He is the only one who will not die because he's ever living. So that's it. 